Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today's the 27th of August. It's 2018. Let me answer a couple of things and let me pose a few questions. How's that sound, shall we? First of all, Richie's not a Christian. He's just doing that for monetary gain. Well, first of all, my channel and pretty much almost every other channel, almost, not all, are demonetized. Subscribers are getting unsubscribed constantly while the numbers still keep going up but the views keep going down. Now, that's happening pretty much almost all the way across the board. Richie's not a Christian. Well, then, how do I have a tattoo of a demon right there that's 25 years old and a tattoo of a cross right there that's 15 years old? If I have no grasp of the concept of good and evil. Now, the cross was always meant to be an angel, but I couldn't find anybody that could do the feathers really well, so I opted for the cross. Before, this is well before I finally woke up. And when I did wake up, I didn't talk about Jesus all the time. I do now, but I didn't until after about five years of research and came to the conclusion that this truly is an epic battle of good and evil. God created everything. Somebody is undoing creation. Somebody's destroying the air, killing the bees, poisoning the water, and tampering with all the food. And they're actually all the way down the list so far that they're messing with male and female. I don't know how many scientific reports are being squashed that prove that there are genetically modified organisms causing gene modification in boys and girls in the food, water, plastic, clothing, and food wrappers. Not even to mention the food. And people don't seem to catch on to this. People don't understand that the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers are behind absolutely everything, even the school system. James Corbett did a phenomenal set of videos called How Big Oil Conquered the World and Why Big Oil Conquered the World. And that explains everything in two and a half hours better than I ever could. But if you can't see that we are being turned into a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, I do not know what to tell you. I went, I woke up at five the other day. I met a subscriber of another channel, the I Am Jake YouTube channel. We drove at five in the morning up to New Hampshire to meet up with, with these guys for a food drive. Now, unlike many channels, I don't hide my identity. I don't care who knows me. It is what it is. I've even been accused of not being from Boston, which I'm not from Boston. My Richie from Boston, that was a name that was given to me because of the way I talk. So there's that. I'm from Lynn, Massachusetts. I grew up on Arlington Street. I lived on Haviland Ave, 62 Haviland Ave for like 18 years. Chatham Street, Bowler Street, and then eventually went into the military. And then after I got out, all hell broke loose. A good decade of doing, I started taking Percocets a dentist gave me, and that escalated into heroin, scumbaggery, violence, shenanigans, jail time, so forth, so on, and blah, blah, blah. But I've been clean almost 11 years. And you know how you can tell? Again, one of the most accessible YouTube channels. Do you realize how many of my subscribers have actually stood right in front of me? 239 pounds. I'm not in as great a shape as I used to be, but that can change in three months. It just amazes me the amount of videos. Why don't you why don't you make response videos? Because I've spoken to a lot of channels that I've respected for a long time. And they said if you start making response videos, that's all you're ever gonna be doing. Do you see what I'm saying? If anybody wants to find me, it's easy enough to do. Do you see what I mean? Just because somebody makes a video, somebody's actions, someone's actions. Using my channel, I have been able to help more people than most people ever will in their entire lifetimes. And that's no exaggeration. It's a fact. I can make a list if you like. You see what I'm saying? 
at any rate for the people that don't think they think that everything's fine that when we were kids kids would draw pictures of the sky the fluffy little clouds the yellow sun well the sky is white now pale blue on a good day the clouds are long and linear they come out of a back of an airplane they last all day long they intertwine with other clouds coming out of an airplane and turn into a large blanket that goes in front of the sun and the sun's no longer a large yellow orb like it used to be it's a small bright white light that literally burns your skin if you're not wearing sunscreen which also has cancer causing agents built into it do you see what i mean we are under an attack like never before in humanity except when Jesus came last time. Do you see what I'm saying? Why do I do this? Because I loved this country. I still do love this country. I love a lot of people that are in this country. But you know what I don't love? I don't love the internet. I don't love entertainment, music, television. I did, but I don't anymore because that's their vehicle. These people have taken over everything. Well, Richie, who are these people? Well, for the most part, primarily, they're Jews. Jews? You're anti-Semitic. I'm not anti-anything. I'm anti-asshole. If you're an asshole, I'm anti about you. What do you think of them apples? I find it absolutely astounding that some of the best researchers have looked into the actual Holocaust and the census they come up with for a number of people actually killed in the ovens is around 300,000 tops. And yet we've got this magical 6 million number that doesn't allow anyone to say anything ever or you're anti-Semitic right away. If you say anything about the school now forcing curriculum where they have to teach five, six, and seven year olds about gay people, two dads, two moms, sexual activity, so forth and so on, and using the word gender as though it were real, male, female, mankind, not all this other nonsense and bullshit. This is a trick. They're using it in the food, the water, in everything to change people. Alex Jones was a huge channel. You know why they let him get so big? Because he was doing their work. He preeminently said, if that's even a word, said everything that we're saying now, but the way he was such a, the globalist, it made him look crazy because that was his job. Every time he was on the news, he looked like a mental case. If you see me on the news, I talk like I talk because that's how I talk. You see what I mean? They really are changing. Do you think it's organic that all of a sudden everyone's gay? I mean, I'm talking all over the place. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The fact that all of a sudden this tiny percentage of people that just couldn't quite get their heads right are suddenly dictating government policy, school, so forth, so on, and blah, blah, blah. When you look behind the mask, all the way behind the mask, every single war, it's the same two families, Rockefeller, Rothschilds. I have a real hard time thinking that God Almighty, the one that created everything, is using two of the most evil families ever to push the pharmaceutical agenda, schools, war, all that. God can use Israel. God can. I hear you. I hear you. But the way it stands now, the people that are occupying Israel, the ground called Israel on this particular plane or planet, that are killing the Palestinians and eating up their land like a mold on an old biscuit. That's not the apple of God's eye. It is what it is. You think it's a you think it's a, 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 a mistake that Winston Churchill, that all the presidents, Time magazine, all these magazines were holding Hitler up as man of the year until he built up his military enough where he could start taking over things and then all of a sudden we had world war. How much money was made in that war? What came from that war? People think Israel was a direct result of the Holocaust. The Balfour Declaration was written in 1917. Churchill was trying to push this the entire time. They decided to cook up the Holocaust so that they could make Israel, and if anyone had things, something to say about it, anti-Semite. You don't think it's odd that we're we're going to war. We're going to go after Iran no matter what for their make-believe nuclear weapons, even though they're completely in compliance with global standards on nuclear proliferation. 
and Israel just doesn't even talk about it and nobody talks about it either. The Samson option, the fact that they've got about 300 or more, who even knows, nuclear weapons. But we don't go after them. And in fact, all your taxes fund their military, their country, their lifestyle, their irrigation, their giant walls and everything. Well, Trump's going to make, Trump's a Zionist. Yeah, that's why he's surrounded with people that are dual citizenship or just straight Jews. You know what I'm saying? Trump is with them. The Vatican's behind it. The Rockefellers are behind it. They're all behind it. It doesn't matter. What matters is either they're following the Bible word for word and trying to invoke the coming of the Antichrist, or it's just really good luck. Long story short, either which way, it's happening right now. Do you really think I like walking down the street and being the guy? That's the guy. No, that guy right there. He thinks those clouds are, you know, 300 miles long and weaving together and always blocking the sun. They're controlling the weather. I thought that, and then I've shown you all the proof, and people still don't believe it. It's amazing to me. At any rate, it's the third time I made this video. This one's a little more relaxed, but we'll see. Whatever. I've been traveling for the last year. I've been traveling for the last seven years because I'm not a real big advocate of go to work, pay taxes, and die. I did it for a long time. There's no future in it. You can't work hard in this country anymore. Get a house, be left alone, do what you want, have a family. It doesn't work like that. The government's encroached on everything. Remember the mold on the biscuit? Yeah, this is the mold on a big cake. You can't go anywhere you're on government property. If anybody bothered to read the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and everything else that was written when this country was founded, they'd know the government's not supposed to own anything except the small square footage in Washington, D.C., which isn't even a state, it's a district of Columbia. Nobody even cares that on the Washington, D.C. license plate, it says taxation without representation. I love the fact that some of my subscribers are the Department of Defense. I love the fact that some of my subscribers are people that were trying to be politicians or walked away from the whole thing because they understood it's just political theater. A family that owns half of the wealth on the planet, on the plane, where we live right now, on this earth, they own half the wealth. The other half is controlled by like four other families. It's ridiculous. Everything's a lie. Get right with God. Just know. Jesus came to this earth. Even the demons knew who he was. And he told them silence. Even the demons here knew who he was. The people back then when Jesus came the first time, they were more enlightened or spiritually aware. They could see the demons that we think are, I don't know, celebrities, politicians. They knew what they were. Too many people here don't. Don't believe the hype. Richie from Boston.